Nevin writes to me, Paul, my question here is how can we protect our expensive audio equipment without relying on the inbuilt protection or degrading the incoming power? I am aware of passive active power line conditioners, such as your power plant series or a zero surge product. Do passive power line conditioners affect the sound quality? And is a surge protector power strip enough to protect our beloved equipment? <laughs> okay, well, gosh, that's, that's, a, uh, that's an interesting question. We do get that a lot and I try and address it here every once in a while. So in general, we have to differentiate between what it is we're trying to protect from and then how can we best do it without impacting sound quality. There are, well, let me give you a good example. Uh, we just got the kindest note from somebody who had bought one of our power plants and they just said, you just saved $65,000. The power plant, they had a lightning strike, the power plant shut down, everything in the system was protected and life was good. And he was thrilled that he had got that power plant. You might have also gotten a similar impact without having a power plant by having a robust surge protector. Now, it wouldn't sound as good. You wouldn't be as happy with it if you're an audiophile and that's what your goal is, is, is good performance. What do you think, a stack of Aspen loudspeakers? You don't get to see that very often. <laughs> Here we are. So uh, again, depending on what your goal is, at the input of a power plant and the input of almost any reliable power conditioner is a clamping device. Now that can be, there's a number of different kinds of clamping devices, but let's take the simplest one of all, which is the MOV, a metal oxide varistor. That sounds pretty tricky, right? So a varistor is a variable resistor and it's a, you know, it, fairly robust, they, they come in everything from little discs to big robust things and basically they are a, what's the best word, um, they're kind of like a, a, a clamp, a, a diode, but they're, they're, it's more of a clamp. So if the voltage goes too high across an MOV, the MOV triggers on, turns on and shorts out the two poles of your AC line, okay? You've got a hot and a neutral coming in. And if the voltage across that gets too big, that MOV just closes like a switch, just like, just like taking a butter knife right across the, the two prongs. Don't do this. <laughs> Shock the shit out of yourself. Uh, but it's just like uh, shorting out the speaker line and boom, circuit breaker clicks everything shuts down, life's good. And if you have the proper MOVs, uh, it can then reset and you go on. Some of them are sacrificial. In any case, they are a parallel clamp that is that are activated when a higher than expected voltage comes through to save your equipment. And those generally, if you if you buy the right kind, that don't have long cables and, and aren't cheaply made, yeah, you can protect your equipment with that without damaging the sound because it's in parallel. And, and again, what you don't want are these long cheesy little power cables that feed these MOVs and power strips because that will damage your high-end audio sound. Don't go there. But there are very short, robust MOVs, surge protectors, that can be very effective in saving your equipment without damaging the sound. The rest of it, I'm not gonna get into it right now. We've been into this so many times. I get such hate mail. <laughs> I love you guys, but whoa. Sometimes the hate mail just, just goes like, why am I bothering to do this? But uh, that's all right. Um, 
it is just, if you don't want to hear this, turn it off right now. AC power has a dramatic impact on the way a system with a res highly resolving power um, sounds. It's just, it does. So that's why we build power plants, that's why we regenerate new low impedance regulated voltage, because it matters a lot. But that really isn't the main function of a power plant. Uh, with that, that is the main function of a power plant. Protecting your system is only the secondary function. And there's lots of ways to do that specifically to this question. All right, I'm going to stop there while I'm ahead. All right, talk to you later. Bye. They're coming for me.